So for today, we're going to be looking at the Eidolon Pursuant armor set that you get from Season of the Hunt. Specifically, you get this from the Nightmare event in the Leviathan. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a cool armor set if you're going for a tactical look. Um, but yeah, we'll be looking at the armor and we'll be looking at how it shaders. And at the end, we'll be looking at some experimental armor sets that I bit made with them. Uh, do note that I've already completed the dungeon. I will have videos on that one, specifically the dungeon guide, how to solo it, um, the armor, uh, the armor review and all this other stuff. I have a lot of things planned for the dungeon and unfortunately it's uh, a few of it is really negative because I do think the dungeon is pretty terrible for solo, but as a team it's completely fine. But yeah, for solo play it's it's one of the worst, but you will get to that in that video. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help the channel grow and I really appreciate you for doing so. So, let's just get right into the video. So, this is the hunter set this is definitely a really cool set if you are looking for particular pieces uh, for me i am looking for the helmet the helmet for me is the best piece from this whole set specifically because of specifically because of just how tactical it looks i really like the the headset on one of the sides i think that's really cool i love the gas mask look of it it just overall looks really good and it actually doesn't look terrible without a hood which is surprising because usually it, most helmets do uh, for the arms the arms are pretty pretty boring in my opinion it's pretty whack I really wish we had gotten a little bit more tactical stuff, like maybe some ammo on the, on the arms, or maybe um, on the shoulders, or even on the forearms. It just kind of looks basic, uh, which is unfortunate because the boots, I actually really do like, but they're not symmetrical. So if the boots were symmetrical, I think these would be really cool as well. Uh, chest piece, I think it's really cool as well, aside from the wires not being symmetrical. Uh, you know, it'd be like that with this game for some reason. People just, you know, I gotta put my mark on that and no one can change the shader for some stupid reason. Uh, other than that, uh, the cloak is probably the boring piece of this whole set, if I'm being quite honest. Actually, I would go as far as to say this is probably the most boring cloak in the game just because of how basic it looks. As for how it shaders, we're going to be looking at some new shaders. We're going to be looking at Crucible Vermilion, which is uh, from this season, not the Crucible Verm Vermilion from a previous season, because I know there's another Crucible Vermilion for some reason, and they just didn't care about the name, which it still tickles me. It really does. Uh, if I can't find it, I'll, I'll have it in the screen right now. Uh, here it is, Crucible Vermilion, which is, again, it tickles me. Uh, just like, whatever. But this is the Crucible Vermilion from this season. It looks, I mean, let's get a better shader because that looks terrible. Uh, let's do Echo Anger. This is a good shader. It, damn, it does look really good. Uh, I very much appreciate when uh, an armor set can take a shader really well because sometimes it doesn't and sometimes that's the worst part uh yeah this looks really dope if you guys haven't noticed the eyes also glow which is a really big positive for me overall there's this uh, armor set is pretty good as for the example armor this is the example armor this is like one of my favorite sets that i've made since last season it's just it's just gonna get better because i the chest piece is gonna be switched out for the dungeon piece which i still haven't gotten yet but as you guys can see, the helmet goes really well with the tactical look. Everything about this whole set looks tactical. If you guys haven't seen, noticed the Orpheus, I'm using the Orpheus rig with the Forest Ranger. I definitely think this is one of the best ones if you wanna go for a tactical look because the Calliope's Lullaby is a little too ornate for tactical in my opinion, which is why I use the Forest Ranger. And this, the basic bitch one just looks not the best, which is why I'm using this one. Overall, this is definitely one of my favorite looks in the game. I will definitely try to get, well, I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna get the chest piece from the dungeon because after that, this whole set is gonna look even more different because with the chest piece, it's just gonna make it look even better. Uh, 
so yeah let me know what you guys think about the example armor the the shader i is hit or miss i i love metro shift but i'm i usually would go for an all black for this specific just because it makes sense tactical you'd want to be all black for like hit being hidden and whatnot but yeah let's go on to the titan and as for the titan uh i actually love this set as well if i'm being honest i just really love one piece and again if you guys know me you guys will probably immediately know it's the helmet i think the helmet looks so fucking good uh whoever designed the helmet is yo this is dope this is very very dope i am such a fan of this helmet it looks so good uh the visor also glows so whichever shader you do put in it it will change colors which is really cool i really do appreciate that because it just bro it just elevates it as well so uh for me the helmet is the best piece as for the arms if you know what it's it's good the arms are good if you're trying to go for a minimal armor look because the, the armor looks really small i haven't seen it on a male titan but again if you're going for a minimalistic look this is going to be really good uh for the chest piece it looks kind of basic in my opinion it also has a problem that the, the back of the neck is not protected i think if you get if this is your first video then i will explain it but for those of you who already know what i'm about to say i do apologize but uh for me titans the best looking titan armor for their chest piece is something like this something that protects the back of their their neck like something that makes them look bulky in the back i think that's when titans really look like a titan to me even something like this looks good so when i see something like this it just doesn't feel like a titan to me personally uh, for the boots, I think the boots are also really good. I think they're, uh, aside from the helmet, is also the best part. Uh, my only gripe with it, uh, that actually looks really cool. My only gripe with it is obviously the, the fact that it's asymmetrical. But what is cool is if I were to use these, these boots, I would most likely pair it with uh, the Lux mark. So that way I can ignore the the asymmetry of it so that way i can just uh let me see so that way i can just do something like this or something like this so that way i can completely ignore that and it's not going to be in my head uh and then the last thing is the mark which i think this is the worst piece i think this is definitely the worst piece from the whole thing i don't like the wire thing i don't understand why my other the other thing is i think the wire could have been done better because it just looks stupid in my opinion it kind of looks like this is like oh what's it called like a walkman from like back in the day and you just have your wire there for no reason that's kind of what it gives me the vibe of it uh as for the example armor here's the example armor definitely one of the coolest sets i've done so far especially for a minimalistic armor look uh for the helmet obviously we're using that helmet it definitely looks cool i love the shader on this as well this is the dreaming cast shader from the dreaming city if i remember correctly and this definitely is one of the one of the best shaders specifically just because of the fact that the blue and the brown or reddish brown really look so weird with this green but i think it looks perfect like, it looks perfectly good in my opinion uh for the arms we're using the intrepid exploit gauntlets for the chest piece we're using the ring walker plate uh for the mark we're actually using the lux mark which is one of my favorite marks in the game and then for the boots we are using the path of the burning steps with the a lighted steps ornament for it which is one of my favorite ornaments uh the pyretic footfalls is also really good and i actually think is a better choice for it but i don't have it yet but this one still looks really good in my opinion titans let me know what you guys think about uh this set this is definitely one of my favorite looks just in general i've done this look a few times but with this helmet specifically it, it elevates a lot more just because the punk look of the jacket looks really good with the gas mask in my opinion so next is the warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts as for the warlocks i unfortunately think they got the worst of it i think it's just terrible all around um which is unfortunate i there's 
a lot of pieces that I just don't like. And the one piece that I actually do, well, two pieces that I actually do like are actually surprising to me. So the helmet, I am not the biggest fan of the helmet. I'm going to be real with you guys off the bat. I do think it's cool that the glow in the middle changes color, but that's where it ends because I think the gas mask thing, if they had made it a little bit bigger or more pronounced and on both sides, I think it would have been pretty cool. I also think the... I don't know what this right here i think this is weak i i, I think i would have preferred it if the this portion of the helmet instead just give them three eyes like the hive i think that would have been much better because this just mm, is not the best in my opinion uh for the arms i actually don't know where the arms uh stop so let's find out oh wow that's wild so this this metal piece is actually connected to the arms. Okay, that's really cool. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be hard to combine it with certain armor pieces. But if you find an armor piece that goes really well with this plate, it'd be it'd be so cool. For the chest piece, this is what kind of really kills me the most is if it didn't have this wire thing, if it didn't have this Walkman thing here. I think this chest piece would have been fine. Uh, not the best. He still would have been, still wouldn't have been really good, but it would have been better than the Walkman that right there. I think the Walkman thing is just terrible. Uh, let's switch chest piece so you can actually see the boots because uh, weirdly enough, the boots are my favorite piece. So these are the boots. The weirdest thing is the boots actually look really cool to me, uh, mostly because they are very different from other armor pieces that we've seen, specifically the boots. Uh, but I mean, other than that, if you want to go for an armored look, this is definitely going to be a look you can go for. My only hope is that it actually shaders well, which we'll see in a bit. For the actual mark, I think it looks very basic, but I'm okay with it because I can make this work with certain pieces like you'll see in the example armor because I'm going to be using the mark or the bond and the boots because I'm definitely not using any of the other pieces because uh, the helmet is the other piece I definitely would use but y y oh man I would have to find a piece where I'm like that looks perfect so I'll show you guys the example armor right now. This is the example armor set for the Warlocks. Uh, definitely really cool. I don't know why I thought about using this chest piece, but I'm glad that I did because it looks really cool. So for the helmet, we're using the, for the Forbidden Visage helmet. Uh, this is from, what season is this? Season of the Hunt. So this is available in the Eververse if you are interested. We are using the Street Scholar gloves from the 30th anniversary. Uh, for the chest piece we are using the storm dancers brace with the induction ceremony ornament and then for the boots and the bond we are using the, the eidolon pursuant armor set so warlocks let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys like your armor set i think if i'm being quite honest i think you guys got the the worst armor set from from everyone not saying everyone got better armor sets because if I'm being quite honest, I just like the helmets from the Titan and Hunter and then the Warlock. I just like the boots and maybe the arms. Uh, wait, uh, not the arms. What did I say? The, the bond. There we go. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media outlets, links are in the description below. I will have videos of pretty much other armor sets uh, in the future, probably. I mean, let's we'll see how how much I want to farm this new dungeon because solo trying to solo it has really killed my motivation to just play this game so be safe and i'll see you guys later